Hey yo, Bolt here, and today I'm going to do a video that I'm surprised I haven't really seen anyone else do before. So, Whitney. I assume you know who she is, being the Golden Rasei Gym Leader as well as the third one you face in the Johto region. She specializes in the normal type, and boy, are she and her middle tank quite infamous for being a difficulty fight. Rather, that's because Faulkner and Bugs were so pathetic they thought the game would be a breeze, didn't know Onyx, Machop, or Geodude existed, or just play and suck at the game could be reason, but regardless, she still has that reputation. However, regardless of what other Pokemon you may or may not have, one Pokemon almost guaranteed to be in your party is your starter, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, or Totodile. Unless you somehow lost them earlier in a Nuzlocke run, but if you somehow lost these clowns, I'm not quite sure what to think of you as a player. Anyways, today I'm going to be analyzing her fight to see which of these three is the best counter to her. Though there are some stipulations. First of all, I'm looking at Heart Gold and Soul Silver, mainly to be more up to date with current day mechanics. With the biggest differences in Gen 2 being that Totodile has no great physical moves, and Cyndaquil and Chikorita's stabs being special no matter what. Next, I'm mostly going to be focusing on Milpang, because that's what most people struggle with, so sorry for the Clefairy fans here, like me, but she ain't getting focused. The third thing to keep into account is that we're looking at the second evolution, Bailey, Quillava, and Crocona, since those are the ones that most people have at that point. And finally, it's the fact that all three starters have an almost 80% chance of being male, which means the track will likely be a problem no matter what. Now without further ado, let's burn through this! Discount Gyarados here is an interesting case, and on paper it seems like it shouldn't have many problems. It isn't weak to roll out, and it can learn some pretty decent moves. However, Croconaut has two notable flaws that hurt its chances and make it less optimal. The first is its lack of good stab. Water Gun is the only water type move it learns until it evolves, and given it's both fairly weak and special, which is its less prominent attacking stat, that is definitely not a really good way to start things off. But that actually leads into the bigger issue, Miltank's stat spread. Miltank is faster, meaning you can't really flinch it with bite, However, you can get flinched by Stomp in return, though that could potentially be dealt with thanks to it learning Scary Face at level 15. What isn't so counterable is its highest stat being Defense, meaning not only does he not have an effective stab, but it will take you longer to kill it with the other moves like Bite or Ice Fang. Not even Leer is a great option, since in that time, it can stack up rollouts and potentially sweep you, doubly so if you're taking your time to use Scary Face. And while Rage does build up as you use it, so does Rollout, and it's probably the single move most affected by track. One final note is that while Ice Fang can freeze, the chance is low and Miltank has a Lumberry, so banking on a move with a low chance of causing a status probably isn't what you want to do. This also applies to Quilava's moves that can burn. You can still beat them, but it's obviously a lot less efficient. However, he's not even the one who suffers the worst debatably. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. Given what I said about Croconaw, Quilava should be a steal. It's a special attacker, and while it's not as fast as Militank, depending on how many speed EVs you have, the likelihood of you outspeeding it depending on level is higher. It also has Smoke Screen, which can be an asset if Lady of Luck is on your side and you hate fun. However, there are two things that make Quilava debatably the worst option. The first thing is, like Croconaw, there aren't many good stabs, since it starts with Ember, and while it does learn Flame Wheel, it's a physical move. And while it's still serviceable in general, against Miltank, it's definitely far from optimal. But that's nothing compared to it being weak to the Rock-type rollout. While Smokescreen hacks will have an easier time against it, it's still a major problem that Quilava has, which is made worse thanks to its damage increasing over time. Given that this is debatably the most scary of its offensive moves, this is a major flaw, and neither of the other two starters have this problem. Problem. This is definitely a major thing that makes Quilava the worst choice. And it sucks since other than Whitney, Quilava is great for the game. But that only leaves one choice. Chikorita has a reputation of being the weakest Johto starter. I'd argue for stupid reasons, but that's a story for another day. However, when it comes to Whitney, Bayleaf does surprisingly well. Heck, aside from Machop, Heracross, and Geodude, Bayleaf is probably your best option. The only real flaw it has is being slow, so Stomp can be trouble, but that's definitely outweighed by its strengths. First of all is its focus on defense. 
which may not seem like a massive pro, but this means it can live longer than the other two, which is pretty important when none of your options can outspeed it naturally. The nice pro is that while its attack stats aren't as good as the other two, it can rely on its special attack more if you level it up to level 22, where it learns Magic Leaf, which is far earlier than the other two get their preferred stab. However, maybe you'll want to take it on at level 19, where you kind of have to use Razor Leaf, which is physical in Gen 4. Well, in that case, Bayleaf has a boon that neither of the other two have. Good status move. It can set up Reflect to have the damage done by a physical move, making Rollout far less scary. It can poison it to whittle its health down after getting rid of its Lumberry. And while Miltank can heal with Milk Drink, so can you with Synthesis. Even if Bailey can't take out Miltank on its own, it can still help its teammates by setting up the conditions to help them achieve victory, which gives it a side use that neither of the other two starters have. Overall, I think Bailey can handle Miltank best, due to its versatility and bulk. Maybe this video will get you to think again before calling Chikorita the worst Johto starter, or maybe you have some counterpoints against me, so feel free to comment with your own thoughts. This has been the Firebolt, and thanks for watching!